I've seen quite a few Christmas days come and go. This time of year can always bring out the best in us, I hope. The spirit of giving and cherishing. If we could just keep that spirit all year long. Where every man is our brother. I started to think about Christmas when I was that age. How old are you, sweetheart? I mean, make up your mind. <laughs> Six and twins. My brothers are twins, Horace and Harry. I remember as a little girl, I had, I had this purple bunny with these long legs and these long ears. And I kept that bunny for a long, long time. And one Christmas, I asked Santa to bring me one of those little red flyer wagons. I know I'm dating myself, but I haven't had a date in a while, so I know. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I forgot where I am. <laughs> I was so proud of that red wagon. I put my bunny in the back of it and pretended we were going shopping. And then after a couple of days, the wheels were missing. Hmm. My twin brothers, Horace and Harold, had taken the wheels off and put it on their little go-kart. <laughs> Those were innocent times, my friend. Oh, wow, if we could go back to those times. But we can't. We can only go forward. And I pray to the dear heavens above that we become more patient with each other and more loving towards each other. Get involved in your communities. And most of all, Spend time with your family. Get your mom's recipes. I never did that. I've come to find that you can have the same recipe and the ingredients and cook in the same pots and pans for the same amount of time and it will never, ever come out like your mom's recipe. Make new memories, my friend, because some of us will wake up with one less plate at the table this year. And one less voice in the house. So while you have the time, love, and don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to tell someone that you love them and really mean it. I thank you from my heart for being so warm and generous with your time, your resources, 